It's 8 p.m. and I'm still here. I'm done for the day. I'm sorry, I'm done for the day. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. If you guys are new here, my name is Lori. I am a family nurse practitioner. Anytime you see me on a Saturday in scrubs, you know it's my weekend around. So, welcome, welcome. Um, check out the other videos if you wanna know anything. I have a plethora of videos. I'm gonna make some tea before I go because I don't want any coffee today. So while that water is heating up, let me grab my bag and put my stuff together. A few snacks with me. If you watch my vlog before this one, my weekly vlog, I did tell you guys that yesterday I did look how many patients was in the hospital and it was 38. I didn't look this morning, so we'll just go with the number 38. Oh, I got my tea in hand and I am about to go. that song it's 805 I just pulled up <sighs> let's hope they don't give me no problems about this whole budge situation um, <laughs> I just can't hello guys hey um, my watch literally just died I didn't even realize that I didn't put my Apple Watch on the charger last night. But what time is it? It's 11.54 and I have 33 patients on the list. So yesterday when I looked it was 38. I guess they discharged five people because today is 33. And I have been steadily busy since I walked in this building. That's why I didn't even really pull out the camera yet. I have been kind of back on 14 patients. I think I've seen probably nine patients already. Uh, I started a little bit after 8 a.m. But of course, because today is the first day, I don't really know these patients. Somebody was asking me on one of my other vlogs, how do I know these patients? Um, do I get report on these patients? Well, I don't think I've ever addressed that. What happens is the physician that I work for, there is him and three other physicians. They're not really in a group, but they cover each other one weekend of the month so that each physician is only working one weekend. Any patient that is in the hospital that is under any of these physicians, they're in this service kind of for internal medicine and we follow those patients. Now, my boss don't really come to the hospital anymore, so if any of his personal patients get admitted, they are admitted under one of the other docs that's here all the time. The sign out kind of happens with my boss. So the doctor who rounded yesterday would have called my boss, give him, give him any kind of sign out or anything that you have to follow up with. And if there's anything pertinent, my boss will let me know, kind of like getting a lot of sign out from him. But other than that, honey, I am on my own deep diving into these charts. <laughs> so I don't know these patients. Some of them, because they're frequent flyers, I know them now. So Saturdays are normally my longer day because I have to do that. I have a lot of patients actually in the ICU setting this week. I think there are six patients on the list that's in the ICU setting. The thing with the ICU is because I have new subscribers and I get these questions a lot, like through messages, I kind of like, like to address them in the videos. So bear with me if you've heard me say this already. But when I go to the ICU, I my input don't really mean nothing. As a former ICU nurse, I know this, but we still have to follow those patients so that when they get discharged from the ICU and they go to step down, they go to med surge, we are the ones that are caring for them and making the decisions for um, internal medicine. I kind of dashed in this conference room because I was at a desk. <laughs> Men understand, oh, why is it so loud? <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, I cannot concentrate. I gotta get up. I gotta find somewhere that's peace and quiet so that I can do what I need to do. So I will just 
chart while I'm in here I think I have two more from my last floor that I went to and I need to put in um, I need to change a patient's Xanax for her so yeah that is a quick update I took a little bit of a break and went and grab a sandwich real quick and then I stopped and grabbed me a Starbucks because I needed it um, right now I have to discharge a patient so I'm gonna discharge this patient real quick and then continue on and just catch up on a little bit of my chart and notes because I've seen a couple of patients that I didn't put the notes in the chart on them and I'm still here walking to see my last two patients <sighs> are you the nurse 454? Girl is walking out. Just saw my last two patients. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is almost 8 a.m. It is 8 a.m. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. I've been down in my kitchen for the last 30 minutes making coffee. If you watch my last vlog when I was in bushes and I said I was gonna try, I said I was gonna try this. Save your money. <laughs> I just had to remake my coffee because I don't know. I don't like the taste. I don't really have any. T I don't know. I don't like it. I'm, I need to go to. Sorry. I need to go to Whole Foods and get the creamer that I prefer. I'm on my way to work. It was raining this morning. It stopped right now, but it's raining all day today, I think. On and off. So I'm gonna head on out. Hopefully there's no new admissions overnight and hopefully I'm only there until 3 p.m. So that's eight hours. Well, it won't be eight hours because by the time I get there and start, it's probably gonna be nine o'clock, honestly speaking. So I will catch you guys. Oh, I forgot my sunscreen. I put my sunscreen on and I'll catch you guys up later. Just pulled up to the good old hospital. It is 8.45. I will catch up with you guys and see how long this is going to take me. So it's currently 10 a.m. And I am making my way to my rounds. Printed my list. Have my coffee in hand. Um, I just saw only three patients uh, that I started off with. I have 32 patients on the list, so we'll see. and a lot of my patients man rapid response galore on a lot of my patients today so i definitely had to use my knowledge my critical care experience and my critical care, care knowledge to manage some of these patients um two other patients i had to send to the icu yeah kind of busy today um I think I have six more to go and I have a bunch of notes that I need to finish up and put in and then we'll kind of go from there. What is up guys? So I'm done and it is 4.55. I just walked back to my car. I ended up seeing 30 patients. There was 32 patients on the list and I ended up seeing a total of 30 because one of the patients 
uh that when i went to see one she was off for a test i came back she was back i'm like listen now and then another patient was actually discharged by another specialty um their primary because we were just consulted on the case so i ended up seeing 30 when i tell you guys that there were so many of the patients on my list today that was rapid response and needed just a lot of attention because of a lot of things that is happening with them a lot of them so a lot of that was going on today. I don't think I vlogged as much today, but I mean, I vlogged enough yesterday for today. You kind of get the point, especially if you're new to my channel. Hey, welcome, welcome. Kind of get the gist of how the rounding goes and what I am up to. So that's it for this week's vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys up on my next video. They're calling me now, but guess who's not answering? <laughs> I swear they call they call every time every single time I'm done for the day I'm sorry I'm done for the day so I'll catch you guys up on the next one bye guys